It's go time! Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and this is game number four of the NLDS between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. The Marlins come in to game four of the series at Turner Field, leading the series two to one, and they look to close out this series and make an appearance in the NLCS for the first time since winning the World Series. They cannot wait to get underway with this one as the crowd in Atlanta very very antsy to get this one started and they can't wait so we look at the recap of this series so far the Marlins have two of the three uh, wins here and PV got the last one for them came in the bullpen and uh, did a pretty good job so this will be Teheran and Cahill on the mound for their respective teams Cahill looking to uh, put his team in the NLCS to Heron looking to get his team into an elimination game five and this is gonna be a good one folks alright here we go top of the first two outs 0-1 pitch to Robinson Cano and he gets one past the diving second baseman and has a single so that's the first base hit of the night for the Marlins and with the runner on first, this is going to be Pablo Sandoval hitting it right to Teheran. He will throw to first to get the out, and that will end the inning. So no net damage done there for the Marlins. 0-2 pitch from Cahill will end the inning there, striking out Jason Hayward. Excellent job there. Buster Posey's up to bat with no outs. Top of the second, 0-1 pitch. He's going to hit this one down the third base line, and just a nice hit there as he gets to first base just barely. So now with the runner on base, BJ Upton, I'm sorry, Justin Upton is going to uh, lay down the bunt here. It's not going to be a very good one as uh, Posey's going to be tagged out at second, but at least uh, Upton gets to first. So there's still a runner at first here. Freddie Freeman up to bat. Justin Upton is going to steal second. He's going to get there safely. Let's see what the Marlins can do now with a runner in scoring position. Jay Bruce up to bat, 0-2 pitch, and he's going to strike out here as the throw goes to first, and that will be the out. So that will end the inning. The Marlins, again, close to getting a run, but they can't. Bottom of the second now, 0-1 pitch is lined into center field. That's going to be a base hit for the Braves, and they all of a sudden now have a base runner. Now it's the bottom of the second, 0-2 pitch with two outs. Cano cannot get that one. That will sneak into the outfield. Trout's going to send a bullet. And that's going to advance the runners up all up a base 90 feet. So Cahill on the mound again. And that ball is going to sneak past Jose Reyes. The throw comes home from Trout. And it is not in time. So the Braves get in one nothing lead here early in this one. And Cahill will finally minimize the damage there with a strikeout to the opposing pitcher. To Heron. now he's on the home plate. And he will get a base hit here. So... Nice job there from Trevor Cahill to uh, open up the inning with a base hit. He's at first. Jose Reyes is going to lay down a sacrifice bunt there. It's a good one. He gets Cahill to second base. So now the Marlins have a chance to tie it up here in the top of the third. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Cano gets fooled on that. Very slow changeup, and that will end the inning. So we go to the bottom of the third. 3-1 pitch is now a ball, so Benitez will get walked here. And Cahill looking a bit shaky to start off things, but he's going to get a double play here as the infielders for the Marlins convert it. And Justin Upton's up to bat now. Two outs, 0-2 pitch in the top of the fourth. He's going to chop this one right in front of home plate, and he's going to get thrown out at first. So he will not do anything there as the inning is over. So Chris Johnson will come up to bat here is the pitch and it's gonna be taken for a 93 mile an hour fastball strike so here's the next pitch from Cahill he delivers and that's gonna be another strike 94 miles an hour and here is the 0-2 pitch to Johnson and it is going to be hit right past Pablo Sandoval and uh, wondering why he did not catch that one that should have been caught now there's a runner at first, and this is big trouble for the Marlins. And that ball is fair. Runner is going to come home, and he's just barely going to get there. And that is going to be an RBI double there. And uh, the Marlins are now down 2 nothing, possibly 3 nothing here. Here's the 0-2 pitch, and there's a strikeout from Trevor Cahill. 
trying to minimize the damage once again and with a pop fly here to right field Bruce is under it he makes the catch so Cahill does in fact minimize the damage but it's still 2 nothing. Braves are up top of the fifth 2-2 pitch and this is going to be Cahill striking out so he uh, is not really helping his team out right now and that is helping them out a, bit, a little bit there Benitez strikes out now bottom of the fifth 3-2 pitch or two outs and he strikes out them there that will end the inning so no more damage done there top of the six oh one pitch to Mike Trout he hits this one deep the runners going back and he's gonna not make the catch that was Jason Hayward and Trout's gonna cruise into second there with a double very good job there from Trout and Jose Reyes is going to put on a little sacrifice there so with one out Trout will be at third and this is uh, a great opportunity to get him home on the sacrifice fly but nothing happens so Pablo Sandoval up to bat and he is gonna strike out here with the runner on third so the Marlins who need runs right now are not getting them from their offense and there is another base hit and this time into left field from the Braves and the offense is just uh, not doing anything and the pitching and defense is not helping so here is going to be a double play there from the Marlins so they will get two outs runner on third now 2-2 two -two pitch and they can get out of the inning here with a pop fly if Trout can make the catch and he does so that will do it for that inning and they hope to have better ones in the future this is Justin Upton striking out there on the changeup he is not looking good along with the rest of the offense Freddie Freeman now up to bat first pitch with two outs he lines it to first base and that will do it for that inning Cahill on the mound now bottom of the seventh 0-2 pitch and he's gonna get a strikeout there he's getting strikeouts but you know the Marlins aren't helping him out with any run support so he's just gonna have to keep striking out people as he strikes out Simmons there 2-2 two -two pitch now bottom of the seventh two outs and he's gonna strike out the side there and he is uh, on fire right now Mike Trout up to bat 0-2 pitch top of the eighth two outs and he's gonna strike out again on that crazy changeup to end the inning Cahill on the mound again, 1-2 pitch with one out, and make that two outs as he strikes out Jordan Schaefer there. And now Jason Hayward's going to come up to bat. Two outs now, bottom of the eighth. This is a pitch inside, 93 mile an hour fastball. And Cahill's going to deliver the second pitch of the at-bat. It's going to be a strike, a 75 mile an hour changeup. And now this is going to be a 1-1 pitch here with two outs, and this is going to be Hayward hitting this one foul so Cahill now with a chance to strike him out one two pitch with two outs here's the pitch got him 93 mile an hour strikeout now Jose Ray is up to bat top of the ninth it's go time but that's not go time there as Reyes will strike out one out down two to go for the Braves Robinson Cano will chop this one right in front of home plate and he will not beat out the throw to first so two outs the Braves are one out away from forcing a Game 5 in this series. Pablo Sandoval will hit this one right past to Heron, but they will get the throw to first there, and that is the out, and that is the game. The Braves force a Game 5, an elimination game, a do-or-die game for both teams, and they will survive to play one more game. This time it will be at Marlins Park in two days. So... The Marlins are not happy. Their offense did not work for them, and their defense only gave up two runs, but uh, that was it. So Julio Teheron, the pitcher, went the full nine innings, a complete game, only allowed four hits, and got 11 strikeouts. Wow, he got a lot of strikeouts. So that is the story of Game 4. Marlins lose it. Offense didn't do anything. Defense did something, but um, the two runs did cost them in the end. So we will look forward to Game 5, hopefully, the Marlins can advance to the NLCS for the first time since they won the World Series back a long time ago. So it will be Jacob Turner and Brett Anderson in Game 5. It's going to be an exciting one. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Matt signing off of Fidelity Gaming TV. Peace.